Alright lads, it's time to check out the Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix Battle Pass. And much like the Battle Pass from Fortnite OG, this one is short and sweet. Only 50 levels to the base version, and a couple of enhanced styles beyond that. Be sure to use code SOURHEART when you buy this Battle Pass to support this channel. And let's go ahead and review this right now. We start with the Chaos Director, female version of this wasn't actually a Battle Pass skin, but this was a pretty popular skin from way back in the day. Kind of cool. We get her pickaxe. That's actually kind of cool. That's a bit reminiscent of uh, one of the Stormtrooper pickaxes, isn't it? A Star Wars pickaxe. Her emote. I, every skin usually has their own emote. Not too bad. Not too bad. See the ooze. This is a trademark of the original skin. The male version of the Chaos Director. And then she has the ghost version. Okay, that's cool. So they're maintaining that ghost versus shadow theme with this skin. With the bug red eyes. This reminds me of the little white Pikmin. If you guys have ever played that game. And now we have the one ball as opposed to the eight ball from the original Midas High season. He does the break shot. Kind of cool, actually. Trick shotting. I wonder if you can fail this, though. Like, if you do it, there's a chance you could fail. There are some emotes that are like that. And I like that the Q is actually his pickaxe. That's pretty cool, man. Undercover Sky. So Sky off the job. That's a pretty awesome guitar, man. That's probably one of the best guitars we've had the entire time Festival's been out. Epic Blade of Floof. Oh, so they just strapped the two together. That's the true remix. Oh my god. And true Adventure Time style. How do you remix two things? You just use duct tape. And then the undercover Sky skin herself. Why does she seem like she's six years old? Sky was like twice the age of this skin. That's crazy. Some balloons for the trail, the contrail. And it's already kind of spoiling the next upgrade of this skin. We got the midnight blade and then the floof head. Is the implication here that Sky actually killed the floofer? Oh my god, the deep lore of the Fortnite battle pass right now. Gilded filet. This one, the original version with the pink skeleton, is probably one of my favorite pickaxes that's ever been in the game. That's a bass right there. That's very, very cool. These instruments are awesome. And there are leaks that in the future, they're going to introduce instruments that can be used as pickaxes. So I take that to mean they will be kind of universal. Rather than pulling the guitar out of nowhere to do the musical emote, you will just use the pickaxe you have in your hand. And that's going to be pretty cool to see. But until then, we got the back bling. Why does this rat have a nose ring? That's crazy, bro. And of course, Meowdus himself looking good. Bro, this is a Fortnite cat. And for some reason, I feel like I'm getting mobbed right here. Per Perdemonium. There you go. Why can't I never say anything related to Meow Schools? He just enjoys the chaos. Look at him. He's like the Joker. Skella Shark. This is arguably better than the original Shark Glider. Wow, that is impressive. Dripping in that gold paint. And then you can even get it white stained for the ghost. But I'm noticing it's both. It's kind of like the ghost and the shadow mixed together. So even that gimmick has been remixed into one thing. But that's all for the base version. There are a couple of bonus rewards. Which, truthfully, the bonus rewards are really just, like, more of the battle pass, in large part. Like, you have little emotes and stuff, you know? You even have the glider for one of the skins. Like, I wouldn't consider that a bonus reward at all. Fully unlocked Chaos Director. That's what we need. That's awesome. See, this is kind of where the bonus rewards make sense, where this could be a level 100 skin all its own. You could base an entire battle pass or season around this one skin. But instead, it stands right there next to Meowdis as like the top tier in its own way. And then we have some other stuff to unlock. This is probably, considering the time, the Ice Spice skin. Because in 13 days from at least when I'm recording this video, that'll be the Ice Spice update. And she'll take over Sky Shark. And at that point, she'll bring a Mythic Scar and a Mythic Grappler into the game. Dynamo Tina is her own thing. So these are going to be related to doing quests. Bomb Bouquet. Oh, it's a baseball bat. That's actually really cool. I like that. Big baseball fan here. Dodgers World Series, by the way. Like or dislike, depending on how you feel about that. But it's not going to let me look at the base Sky skin. However, I can go all the way up and we can see the cartoon version of Dynamo Tina. And actually, right now we see the newest addition to the Fortnite cosmetic locker. 
kicks starting immediately with the Air Jordans. And very soon they're gonna put in some slippers and of course there's gonna be the Crocs in real life crossover coming out and I imagine those will be in the Fortnite game as well. I think this is a huge W honestly between the instruments and the shoes. I think the only thing they could really do is hats now. It's kind of funny that they did the shoes before the hats. Maybe this is a subtle poke at Valve. You gotta consider that Epic Game Store versus Steam is always a thing. You know, and Team Fortress 2 has the hats. And of course you have the Fortnite crew, which now every Fortnite crew skim comes with a, a legacy version. So as you keep the Fortnite crew, it levels up. This is always cool on the season when a new battle pass comes out because you essentially get the battle pass for free. I mean, the money you would have spent on the battle pass pays for the Fortnite crew plus V-Bucks plus a skin. So this is always the method I recommend going for if you're gonna get a battle pass. And if you do get the battle pass again, please use code Sourheart. But before we go, we're gonna check out the festival pass because it has huge implications for the battle royale. And when I said festival pass, I actually misnamed it. It is now called the music pass. And as you can see, it's all about Snoop Dogg. Not only do you have a couple tracks by him as well as tracks by Juice World. And Soldier Boy, crank that, this alone is gonna make me buy the festival pass. I can't even lie. Now, considering it's only 1400, I think this is actually cheaper than most of the festival passes have been. I think the festival passes have all been 1800 so far. And we get a look at his back bling. Wow, that's just, I don't even know what to say about that. That's something I never thought I would see in a video game. And he's even got the green and purple. All my memesters know what that means. And beyond all the other stuff like the instruments, there's also an alternate style to the skin with the armor, as you can see. And now this lets me bridge into what has changed overall about these battle passes. And it's that the battle passes are now moving towards a universal level up system. Now what this means is that simply, no matter what mode you're trying to play, Epic Games is gonna make sure that all of your passes level up simultaneously. Their goal is that by December 1st, all passes into the future will have this model, which means that unfortunately, the Halloween Lego Fortnite pass will not fall under this system. However, as we can see, see here the next pass to get this treatment will be the music pass and this is november 2nd so this is the current pass with snoop dogg so that means that you could buy this festival pass never play festival mode and still get the top tier rewards from it if you don't actually want to play that mode and that's pretty cool because some of the top artists in the world are going to be coming to this game in the future we already had icons like billy eilish and legendary bands like metallica but within this season alone we're gonna get snoop dogg i spice eminem and of course at the end of the season an actual juice world in-game concert and this is where I'll put a little caveat, because last season, Epic Games changed it so that all Fortnite passes are no longer time-locked. That means that 18 months after a pass finishes, all those skins, all those pickaxes, every single item in that pass can go to the Fortnite item shop. Now, it'll definitely be much more expensive. I imagine they'll frame it as total sets, so if you want to get something like the Snoop Dogg set, it would probably cost you 2,500 to 3,000 V-Bucks. There's definitely gonna be an early buyer's advantage. That's how they're gonna maintain the FOMO, of course. But for me, this actually lessens the FOMO because it means you don't have to grind as hard and you don't have to grind modes you don't wanna play. And if you don't want everything in a battle pass, just wait a little bit and the things you actually want can be bought a la carte. So overall, I'm feeling a strong seven on this battle pass. And the only thing that knocks it is that you pay full price for a half length season and technically a half size battle pass. However, each skin in here is super, super high quality. The thing about normal length battle passes is there's always one or two skins that I genuinely just don't care about. But I can't say that's happening with this pass. Every skin in this is good. Every skin in this is going to stay good. And because of that, I would say it's a definite buy. Obviously, with the Festival Pass, it's going to matter more if you actually like the musical artist. But all things considered, I think this is a really good skin. So I'm probably going to buy this too. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. What is your favorite skin of this pass? What are your hopes for this season of Fortnite and into Chapter 6? And maybe check out this video next to me to see if you missed anything in the Chapter 2 Remix update. I go through the patch notes and go to all the little details of all the little things coming out in the rest of this season.